Hello my soccer universe, <laughs> long overdue and potentially even ill time, but let's do it anyway. The review of the, what happened in Ligue 1 and the Eredivisie over the past two weeks, meaning since the international break and it uh, was quite some interesting stuff have happening. We had a rather remarkable weekend last week uh, in the Netherlands and this weekend in France it was all about derbies and weird results, a firing, People losing their nerves, um, especially Parisians, where, yeah, uh, that PSG game, I really gotta, gotta, gotta say, I, you know, I typically make an effort to watch PSG and Ajax every week, because uh, those are two teams, um, you want to keep up with them. But I have to say, the PSG game this past week, it was just annoying, uh, there was no Messi there, uh, they are always complaining with the referee. Neymar very soon also assumed his natural position lying on the floor and then even Mbappé is in danger of getting sent, sent off and yeah if it wasn't for Messi I honestly think there's not too much to like about this team at, at the moment except when they are on they can be really nice to watch but they were not on their A game uh, this past weekend and arguably even the week before um, one story, and I need to emphasize, especially in France, it's not PSG and their um, uh, emotional uh, meltdowns and so on. To me, the biggest story in France is just, you know, if I put this on a thumbnail, uh, it might not be as interesting as seeing a red card for Sergio Ramos, but it's Lorient. Absolutely amazing what Lorient are doing. They're just a point behind PSG. This is a teeny tiny team out in the far northwest of France. Uh, it is really re remarkable they can keep up. I don't expect them to uh, even finish in European spots. However, um, for a team that, uh, you know, not too long ago, I even thought they might get relegated past past season. I was even contemplating getting a Lorient shirt and I said, well, it would be nice for the colors back there. However, uh, they might get relegated and then that, 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 that doesn't make fun. He, he, he uh, agreed with me. Yeah, I do regret that now a teeny bit. On the other side, you know, uh, just enjoy having Lorient so far up, up there. It's kind of a, it's not quite the Bundesliga with um, Union Berlin and Freiburg up, up there, but Lorient is an even smaller club and that they can uh, keep pace and are even ahead of OM who also suffered kind of a meltdown is rather remarkable. Uh, to me, the biggest result in the Netherlands came in the last week when uh, PSV got beaten big and all the other, uh, and, and, and then two other big two, uh, of the big three couldn't even record a win Ajax stumbling. They got then the big beatdown in the Champions League. And so you uh, are kind of looking at a very, very much at a weird time for Dutch uh, football. At Z being on the top. And let's start in the last and exactly with this 3 0. Uh, something that was not expected at all, and PSV made up for it and duly in the Europa League by beating Zurich um, away from home. However, uh, that they lose to Cambuur 3 0, I did not see coming. Of course, it's one of those games. Yes, Cambuur took the Linda Fifi 54th and then laid on the add two more. So I can definitely see that they. Uh, they uh, got a few counts. I didn't really see that game. I gotta be uh, honest uh, with that. Uh, but at the same time, Ajax, as I said, also couldn't get the win. Uh, they took a lead through class and finally converted their, their chances. Uh, but in the second half, um, go ahead, Eagles always were kind of threatening here and there, and Ajax just couldn't put the game away. And probably their home game against Napoli were also looming because everyone said this is gonna be a decisive fix fixture. Who will move on to the Champions League? That didn't go that well. And then uh, Willemusson in the 78th minute gets the equal and Ajax cannot find a winner. And it was kind of a sign of things to go, uh, to come. Big win, 20 over Vitesse, 3-0, 20. Uh, also, I would say fifth best team at the moment in the Netherlands. Uh, Z are at the moment the best team. I would say they are close with the top three for sure. Getting a 3-1 away win at Groningen. And then Nijmegen uh, play Fedor, the 1-1, one, one, uh, get an equalized as well. Even Herrenveen, who have also had a good chance, uh, start, not chance, uh, also cannot get a win against Emmen. So, you know, a very, very odd weekend. Um, it was a tad more, rec it, it got rectified over on, on the past weekend, though. 
when Ajax uh, went to Volendam uh, to beat them uh, 4-2, they had a 3-0 lead. Volendam came back and only late in stoppage time Ajax made, made it a clear scoreline again so also not very convincing uh, we had Feyenoord over 20 that, that was a big one we had definitely a red card for uh, Czerny just before the half when they were already 1-0 down definitely got the game in one direction uh, and then um, uh, Hanko makes it a 2 0 scoreline for Feyenoord uh, and then PSV is winning 1-0 at Herrenfein through Hakpo and probably rehabilitate themselves but this is the thing with uh, PSV they uh, can play great and they have been scoring many goals but then there are certain games where they just are losing and that was one of uh, one of those uh, it, the, the week before but now 1-0 Vitesse though they have been really good over the past few seasons this time around absolutely not losing again and so in the we have the following standings as I said AZ on our top of the table with Ajax, Bayern, PSV and Feyenoord it's clearly a top four at this moment with an absolute 100% overwhelming favorite in Ajax uh, Twente seemingly is best of the rest but I think uh, whoever goes into this uh, conference league playoff this could be a wide open affair and when I look on the bottom Emmen Volendam and Vitesse are in there although Vitesse still have a too good, good of rating to be in the uh, to be considered a relegation candidate so that would be goal actually to Excelsior who actually had a relatively good start um, which you can also see by the small green bar being despite on the, on the bottom of the table and that of course being the best uh, you know in terms of performance the best team so far uh, the expected standings tell a similar story where we have a top four or we should say we have a top one and then uh, a challenging three between PSV, Feyenoord and AZ and 20 best of the rest. Kind of in a role that Braga usually has in Porpora or somewhere in between Excelsior, Emmen and Voldem going down. I give you for the next two weeks the fixtures because uh, I don't know whether I will do next week a review talk about that when we talk league uh, um, we, if we look at the big uh, games we have PSV against Utrecht we have AZ against Feyenoord although that's ill time because it's almost the same time as the Classico uh, but that's a big game and then we have Ajax play against Ax uh, Excelsior uh, so AZ Feyenoord is definitely the standard fixture and then the week after Feyenoord play uh, Sittard Ajax at Wahlweig uh, Groningen PSV uh, and that set plays Excelsior, so Excelsior has to play two big teams uh, in, in in a row. And I think at that point we probably see whether it's still a top four or not, especially the Feyenoord at that clash could be a rather decisive one. Going over to France, uh, what can I tell you there? Um, first off, Marseille and Rennes get really big wins to start off, and these are all, of course, early because they play... Um, Midweek commitments and Ren having actually the best improvement of all the teams we're talking in the two leagues, uh, leagues. Hence, I'm wearing their jersey. Uh, the PSG against Nice uh, game was rather interesting. Again, a nice Leo Messi goal. Um, and fully in control of the game, just not, not covering just after have Laborde makes it 1 1. And then PSG had a little bit trouble and they needed to bring on uh, Kylian Mbappé. Who then scores the winner, although he was not so much in the game. Uh, but once it was then 2-1, uh, even Messi could come, 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 come off. And yeah, in, in the end, uh, a PSG win, but it was not a glorious win. Uh, a glorious definitely as it was Lorient doing 2-1 over, over Lilland, even with a man down. Uh, take the lead through an own goal, go a man down with a yellow-red. Uh, Lille equalized through Jonathan David. And then uh, Labrie gets in the 87th minute the win. So pretty, pretty big result for, for, for them. And we have to focus uh, probably a little bit more on Lorient. Um, other results, Monaco against Nantes 4-1. I think Nantes will have a hard time uh, staying in, 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 in the league this time around. Uh, the game was more or less done after six minutes when it was 2-0 uh, in Bolo and, and Ben Yeda who adds two more to make it a proper, uh, you know, to get a get his hat trick uh, and very late an own goal for not uh, kind of makes it a little bit nicer looking, but you know, four one and then Lyon got already in trouble losing through a penalty uh, um, by Sotoka 
of uh, loss 1 nil. Remember this penalties and uh, loss because this will come now very soon. Already putting Peter Bosch under a huge, huge trouble because this Lyon team, Stellantis, yeah, yes, they lost a few players, but they should be up there. Uh, with, with the best of it, have not been performing well. And it was then Peter Bosch's card was called after they only managed a 1 1 against Toulouse, despite taking the lead or in the second minute, but a uh, 67th minute equalizer through that though uh, gives uh, a 1 1 draw. He goes out, and who is the new coach? It is uh, Laurent Blanc. Who has not been coaching for I think almost 70 I think PSG was his last stop which has me a little bit one wondering he seemed to be a young coach on the rise similar to like Deschamps and then not being in coaching for so long I don't know what to think about that but you know uh, in a way it can only go up for Lyon but we have said that uh, before as well uh, the shocker was on Saturday afternoon with Marseille despite having a 2-0 uh, lead losing 2-1 to Ajaxo a very very weird on, on goal just after they have settling the game uh, and Ajaxo hold on to a probably a famous win at um, Velodrome and so uh, PSG could, could have gone quite a few points clear but uh, as I hinted of in the intro they just got too caught up. Yes, Messi was, wasn't playing. We had, um, I think it was um, Neymar on the bench. And I even want to say that uh, Mbappé was, uh, uh, was, I mean, he was starting. But, you know, it was kind of, definitely we have a big Champions League match going. Let's uh, try and win at us. However, the best player was definitely Donnarumma, who made some good goals. I'm not saying that PSG were the worst team. However, Reims really had a plan and they put some uh, tr uh, pressure on PSG and they couldn't really handle that. And you could see this when uh, Ramos makes a foul for, I agree, for al almost nothing. But then uh, he uses a very sp nice Spanish phrase with P and M. And it's duly sent off and Marco Verratti is also always there complaining da 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 and it's just so annoying. And as soon as Neymar came on, you really thought maybe uh, now some flair coming. But what was coming? The Neymar was just again aggressively lying on the floor most of the time, co complaining. And then in, at, at a bus stop in stop stoppage time, I think it it was there. The Mbappe could, could have been sent, sent off. And you are such a good team. You don't need all these antics. It's just really, really uh, annoying at this point. Um, Lorient again. Uh, I mean, we had uh, Monaco winning with Strasbourg winning, but Lorient win the Western Breton derby uh, against Brest. I mean, uh, it's basically if you look at the map of France, the Brittany is or Bretagne is the thing sticking out, and on the northern edge is Brest, and on the southern edge is more or less uh, Lorient. So really. Um, Alien derby all, almost. Brest took the lead, but uh, Mofi with two goals pulls it back for Lorient and they stay up there. It is really, really amazing. I feel a little bit sorry for my off office mate who is from Brest and of course uh, is supporting uh, Start Brest. Uh, there was another Breton derby, the big Breton derby between Rennes and Nantes. A uh, 3-0 win for Rennes, but it was similar to um, what we said, said earlier. Yes, they took an early through Guiri, a very bad, better, better team, but it really got a big scoreline uh, only after the 80, 80th minute when two goals have been scored through Thierry and Doué. Uh, Rennes uh, even had a player sent off, and this is one thing that I have not mentioned too much. There have been many, many red cards given in France this season because the referees are seemingly on a mission to break all the records. But yeah. Ren also re-established themselves and then the last big derby, probably the biggest derby of, of them all of them, the derby that we know between Lille and Laws uh, is settled because one converts the penalties and the other one doesn't. Um, with only one little score, uh, it was early on Laws uh, had the chance to take the lead with the penalty, they don't and then just before the halftime Jonathan David converted and so Lille are the big winners uh, in that Derby, which sets up now uh, the standings as follows. We have PSG and then we have Lorient ahead of Marseille. It's just incredible, but you see with the chances that Lorient will avoid relegation, but not more than that. Um, Laos, Monaco, Rennes, Lille are uh, all in there. 
Lyon only mid table and when I look at uh, teams like Nice and Nantes they are, and even Strasbourg with a good level season they're already in trouble but I would say up until Nice that they those teams could potentially still have a chance to with with a run to get into the European spots but it seems to be really pr- breaking after Clermont who also have a really good run uh, gotta be said uh, expected standings Angers, Brest, Ajaccio and Auxerre currently going down on top, of course, with PSG and Marseille still. Monaco remains in the third spot, could be a tight race, and Rennes and Lens, Lyon, Lille. Uh, they still think that Lyon will do something. I actually think that Lyon, again, will not qualify for Europe, which will be a shame for them. Now, why was this video ill time? Because we have uh, the big clash between PSG and OM coming up. Um... I have decided I will do a video on these two leagues if that game uh, has something remarkable. I will do my best to watch it because that's always a great game to watch. Uh, if you didn't have enough of Breton Darbus, it's not against Brest, although not technically is not in the Bretagne any, anymore. Lorient play against Reims. So if Marseille win at PSG and Lorient, then Lorient could be top of the table. Just watch that space. Uh, here as well, of course, Rennes against Lyon. It will be a, a really tough uh, first test for uh, Laurent Blanc uh, in his first um, outing. But even if I don't do a video next week, I think there are enough interesting games to talk about. And thereafter, I'm looking at Marseille against Laos. That's a, a pretty cool one. Uh, Lille, Monaco, and then uh, between two European so Nice and Nantes is also in there. So, you know, uh, it is not so bad. But again, if it ends with a big PSG win, I don't think it's, it's um, I don't necessarily need to do another video. However, if there is a little bit more spice or it's a tight game or maybe even a Marseille win or they get a draw in dramatic fashion, then I will do a video next week uh, on that derby. In any case. It's your turn now. Please let, let me know what I have missed. You know, I saw a few highlights here, here, here and there. I can see bigger storylines, big picture. But, you know, if there's some details uh, that you would like to have, please do so in the comments. Please give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!